everybody, hope you are doing well. I thought uh, I would do a little mid-year, or oh, that's not mid-year, is it? It's a uh, quarter in the year, three months in the year, what's three, 12? Actually, 12 into years is actually three, four, 12, three and four will sort of go together. I don't know how to maths, but I want to do a, a check-in. Uh, maybe we'll do these throughout the year. This is going to be a chill talking, put a game on in the background type video to grind something out to let you know what's going on. Uh, what have I been playing so far? What are my goals? How am I doing for the end of the year? So if that sounds like a good idea to you or something that you want to listen to or, or kind of like do that half listen to. You just want some noise in the background. I'm happy to be your noise for the next however long. So... I set out a goal uh, to try and get 10,000 trophies by the end of the year. So I started the year with, I have some actual stats over here. I can uh, throw them up on the screen. I've been trying to be good at documenting the journey to see if I can make it. So I'm just going to grab these. I should have been slightly more prepared. I just was like, hey, let's record another video. Let's press, let's press play and just record. And so here we are. It's happening. That's not very helpful at all. I've just got this up, which is uh, <laughs> just a graph of all time. I don't know why I, I saved that. That's unhelpful to everybody that ever lived. Um, so I started the year with just under 9,000 trophies, I believe. And so the goal was, can I reach 10,000 by the end of the year? So when I crunched the numbers, it was like, you need to earn at least 84 trophies every month to reach that. If you want to do it at a, like a solid pace. Now, I know I try and play a bit every day, but you can't always guarantee you're going to get a trophy. So 85 trophies every, um, every month divulges into three trophies per day so that's also meant that i'm now trying to keep up this streak of trying to at least earn three one or three trophies every day to even it out so so far i think it's going quite well to be honest i'm just gonna flip us over to two trophies over here where you can see right now i have been playing hell divers i have a total of 900 no 9000 sorry 9258 trophies won I'm also using down here the gamer goals to help keep this track. So win a total of 10,000 trophies. So currently 25.5% of the way. I've got 742 trophies remaining and I'm going at a rate at currently now. I've managed to bring down my amount of trophies per day to 2.56 per day. Ooh, oh, I started at 904. I should have got this up originally. Isn't this great? Isn't, isn't having stats wonderful? Um, so yeah, and it's going to be by the end of the year. So because of that, I'm now, if we look over here, on this trophy streak that started on the 13th of... I, th I think I've only missed one day all year of popping a, a trophy. And that was the day before. That was the 12th of January. Over every day... Or maybe I didn't do a couple at the very beginning of the year. But every other day, I've managed to keep my streak going with 249 trophies, which is pretty insane. So yeah, we started here with some Sonic, also going into some Resident Evil. Then I did all Jack and Daxter. Uh, now, one of my plans, as you can see here, we're going to just look through these very quickly, um, is if I need to... I am going to play some Jackbox games. Now, there's no there's no shame in playing a Jackbox. Uh, I like a good Jackboxing session now and again. The trouble is, I didn't like playing them on my account because I didn't want to earn any of the trophies because the trophies are a little bit like, you know, coincidental. It's unlikely that you're going to pop all of them playing with your friends. Like some of them have very specific requirements. So by doing, I did Jackbox Tennis, that was the newest one that came out and I wanted to try it with my friends. By getting all of the trophies, and you can just do them solo, you can do them with friends if you want to get a boosting group together, but you can just get up an incognito tab and beat all the people and just get them. You can get 20 trophies by every pack. And then I can just play this pack with my friends now and not have to worry about getting the trophies. I know this is a real problem that I shouldn't have, but clearly I do have. I'm like, oh God, I can't play this game because I don't want to pop any trophies. So this is going to be my ace in the hole. If I feel like I'm getting behind, then I'm going to play a Jackbox. I'm currently trying to do Jackbox 3 in the background as well, because then I'm, I've got 20 trophies guaranteed. Now, there are, all of the Jackboxes are pretty straightforward. There is one, which I think is pack eight, which has just got a trophy that I'm like, no, that's not even possible. I think is you have to like, it's something really stupid. It's like It's like a percentage thing where you need like a lot of people to help you do it. So I'm like, that one, I'm out. So there are 10 Jackbox games. I doubt I'm going to do all of them. But if I did just like five, that's almost 100 trophies right there. In fact, doing six would just be 110. God, I've just done quick maths and I hope I'm correct. So that's going to be my fallback plan if I need to. They're very quick, easy to get through. So that also helped 
a lot in January. I was also wrapping up Hogwarts Legacy uh, in the meantime as well. So this is all what's happening in January. And then by the end of that month, I did get the uh, Platinum in Jack and Daxter. I also played Fogs at the very beginning, which we've kind of skimmed over. Then I started playing Last of Us uh, Part 2 Remastered because I was really interested in going back and playing that game. But I actually started off with no return mode and got super into that. Also, Resident Evil 6 is the gift that keeps on giving. Not a fantastic game, but it's got a massive trophy list to like just delve into if you're doing all of the DLC as well, which I did. So that, that got me a lot of income in the trophy bank. So as you see, a bunch of that here. Hogwarts Legacy as well, I had to pick up because I uh, I was just in the mood for it and I had a bunch of trophies that I was missing on that, so that also brought it back in. Now, the other thing I decided to do is uh, I'm, I'm playing a lot of games at the same time to try and achieve this goal, as well as trying to do my Platinum Grand Slam, which we still need to talk about. My God, I've only started with agenda item number one, which is getting to 10,000 trophies. Uh, I want to have games in the background that I know I can comfortably play and also get trophies as well that are pretty simple. So that's why I booted up. Uh, Persona 4 Dancing All Night. I'd already got the Platinum for this on Vita. So I was like, this would be just a nice game because one of the things I struggle with is coming home after work and being like, oh, I just don't know if I'm even bothered to play anything. So I needed a light, easy game. And this was such a nice game to just come home to and just be like, you know what? I just want to... And like just you know play some persona and dance along to your affection your affection da, 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 da. so that was nice and very easy simple and you just popped a lot of trophies uh there we now obviously moved into february uh did dip a little bit into w2k23 but i didn't enjoy that because that's somewhere i was missing some trophies so i don't think i'm going to go back to w20 uh w2k23 but i just don't think i think i've just fallen out the loop of it but i tried it uh, kept going here with uh, Last of Us, and then I did start my PS1 uh, game, which was Metal Gear Solid. This didn't have great trophy rewards, uh, so I'm actually at the moment where I'm trying to grind out the final bit. So that's why I need to have other games in rotation, because whilst I'm trying to platinum, that's the thing, you get to a certain part of a game where you get to the grind section. So you need to have something to play whilst you're doing the grind, and then you just alternate. Now, I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, how can you play so many games at the same time? I do struggle in terms of controls, but I, I also just don't like playing one game at the same time. I get super bored. I need to, I, I need to have a few that I can bounce between depending on what mood I'm in. Um, so now I think we're pr pretty much caught up to where we are. We're playing the same games over and over. Oh yeah, I played Brothers, uh, A Tale of Two Sons. Another nice, another small, simple game just to get some trophies, but also a good time. Did that within a weekend. That was a nice get for the beginning of March. Uh, so that got me about 12 trophies or something. As you see, still wrapping up things here. And of course, Hell Divers is now what I'm playing, uh, which is also quite good on the trophy front. At the moment, when you start a new game, there's a lot of, well, for most games, there's a lot of good trophy opportunities to like get some easy pick in. So that's also helped me along the journey. I'm sure they'll get to a point near the end game where I will get to the grind section, but that's when you switch in your other game, which you play whilst you're doing the ongoing grind. And now I'm also playing Last of Us Part 2 properly which isn't going to be great for trophy output. Now, I could have auto-popped it, which is a viable solution, auto-popping. It's a thing, it's a, a modern way of uh, platinum in games, but I do like the idea of playing the game again. I really wanted to, and the thought of trying to get trophies on the way inside, like, excites me more. But then when I get to the end, I will auto-pop because I just don't want to do the collectibles. Like, it's not fun. There's way too many. I just want to experience the game and get that, you know, adrenaline rush of just popping a trophy or trying to do certain things. Collectibles is not, not this many. Like, collectibles can be fun in a certain way. Like in an open world game, collectibles can be kind of fun to just be like, you know what? I just want to mindlessly just explore the world, get some collectibles, listen to a podcast. But in a single player narrative, pretty linear adventure, I don't want to be looking at a guide every 10 seconds like, oh, hang on, oh, and then you're not listening to the game properly, you're not paying attention, not into it. So that's what I have been doing so far. Let's take a note of the date. Today's date is the 16th of March. So if I do the next update, I need to do it from the 16th of March. So uh, currently uh, in rotation is, yeah, Helldivers finishing off Metal Gear Solid and uh, what's the other game I'm playing at the moment? There is another one. Oh, Last of Us Part 2. Also thinking about jumping into Outer Worlds DLC, potentially, and Jackbox 3. God, I'm playing that fight. I don't know how this has happened. Last year, I was like so slow. This year, I'm, I'm on one. I'm on the mission. I'm on the journey. So I'm feeling positive right now that I will hit that goal, uh, as well as, you know, 
trying to pace myself. I think it's just because at the beginning of the year, nothing is happening. Maybe it's all going to go pear-shaped in summer. That, that's, that is actually why I'm also going hard, because now while nothing's happening, I want to get as much as possible, because there will be times in the summer where I go on holiday. Or, as I'm going to talk about in a bit for my Platinum Grand Slam, there's going to be games that are going to be bigger games that I'm going to need to spend more time on that may not necessarily pop me a Platinum every day. Now, the original mission wasn't exactly to get this trophy streak, but whilst it's happening, I want to keep it going for as long as possible, but I know eventually it will break. Like, let's say, for instance, I want to play Sekiro. That game is not giving you trophies every time you play it. It may not give you trophies every three times you play it, so that's why I've got to be like mindful of what what exactly I'm playing uh, later on in the year, so I'm just trying to front load the year to help reach my goal. So that's update number one. I think the other thing to just quickly touch upon is I think so far this year, if we just, I'm just gonna jump over quickly to PSN profiles. I like using both of them to jump between for stats, but this one visually is quite uh, nice to, to look at. If I just go to type platinum, so far it's going well this year with one, two, three, four, five, six platinums. Now normally my goal is to get at least one platinum per month. At the moment I'm averaging on two platinums per month, which is pretty insane. I might get three Platinums this month because I'm very close to Metal Gear Solid. This is nuts. I don't even know what's happening to me. I don't even know how this is, how I'm feeling so just on it this year, but I'm loving it. And I want, I want it to, I want to keep riding this momentum while I'm feeling it because eventually it always happens to us all. You just reach a point where you just drop off and that's okay. You just feel like you want to do other things, but it is quite fun whilst you're on the train. To, to stay on it for as long as possible. So uh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid and then Last of Us Part 2. I'm just very worried about when I go on holiday that it's all gonna fall apart. So that's why I'm like trying to get as much in as possible here. Um, so let's talk about my next goal of the year. The next goal of the year is my Platinum Grand Slam, which to celebrate the 30th anniversary of PlayStation, I wanna try and get a Platinum in every console or every console type. So PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5, uh, PSP, PS Vita, PSVR, and PSVR 2. So that's nine consoles, nine Platinums. A tall order whilst I'm trying to do the 10,000 thing at the same time. I don't know. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I just like to punish myself with goals. That so far is going okay. We have only got one Grand Slam so far, which is Jack and Daxter on PS2. I am closing in on Metal Gear Solid, um, but that's taking a bit longer than I thought because I'm just not very good at the game. Uh, so that is ticking away. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Uh, am I gonna do the PSP game, I guess, or PS Vita potentially? I'm gonna try and balance it out with like, some big games. I guess Metal Gear Solid is kind of a big game. I never played it before, so it's you know taking me a bit of time to get used to it. But I have got some, uh, I don't want to reveal, reveal all my secrets yet of what games I'm going to play. For those of you who are new to the channel or new to this video, you can follow those adventures on a separate video series called um, Platinum Grand Slam videos. I don't, think I've, I don't think I've named it. I think it's just the Platinum Grand Slam of 2024. Uh, only one video exists right now. Oh, but maybe two exist, depending on when I post this. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna tick uh, across through the year. So I guess to do with my Platinums, I at least need to get eight more. I, th I think it's possible to do that as well as do the other stuff. Um, not sure if any are gonna take me, let's say for, well, I've got a couple like bouncing around in my head. Um, some of them easy, some of them hard. So I'm just worrying like the hard ones, as I said, that might take a bit longer to do. So I need all these games happening in the background to finish it. But am I behind schedule? I've got nine Platinums, 12 months. I think it's okay. I'm only on the third month and I'm on my second Platinum. So I guess still on par. Maybe I could make a, a goal for this on True Trophies, I wonder, to... Uh, sync up with it let's go back over here could i make another goal i mean i should probably delete my this goal that i did before but i kind of like it here let's make a to-do list so this was my old to-do list when i was trying to do my backlog i'm actually going to delete these now we're going to put our new to-do list congratulations yeah i won the following for my to-do list uh shit. how do i add to my to-do list do i just have to go here metal gear solid yeah now I've got the stupid music in my head that do, 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 do. impressive snake. It's not even the music. It's just the music from the VR missions because I'm doing those at the moment. That do, 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 do. Well, I've already got this trophy though. 
I need the trophy I don't have. Yeah, which is this. Add to to-do list. Right, now we're cooking. I suppose if I'm doing that, I would have to re reveal all my secrets. Well, I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll share some of them with you because some of them I, I know. So for VR, I'm going to do the playroom, which I've probably spelled terribly. Let's add that to my to-do list. Very good. I guess I'm going to add the last of us. No, I'm not going to. I, I, I want to keep this to the, the Grand Slam. Uh, Super Stardust Portable is what I'm going to do for PSVR. I mean, PSP even. And that's all the ones that I have in my mind right now. I obviously don't want to, like, you know, over overdo it. it it can be a little uh can be a little overwhelming so now i should have somewhere a little to-do list at the there we go metal gear solid the playroom and that should help keep me on track for my goals so i think that's everything i want to talk about in this video let me just look at my stats here real quickly Anything that's going on here? Look at this. Oh yeah, I do want to highlight this because I'm quite proud of this. Uh, on PSN profiles, you can see how many trophies you earn over you know your entire time being on the site or when you started earning trophies. So my highest record previously was December 2014 with 153 trophies. In January, I was just like going hard. I really wanted to beat this when I realized I was getting close to it. And I just did it by two trophies with 155 trophies. Actually, th life has kind of fallen off here, but not too bad with 86 in February, 52 in March. And we are halfway through March, uh, hoping to, well, when I get Last of Us, uh, part two done that should help me bump it up so um, yeah those are those are the stats uh, over there so that's my three month check-in for the year of how I'm doing let me know in the comments below if you have any goals that you are working towards or any other missions are you joining me in the Grand Slam have you completed your Grand Slam some people have and it's super impressive uh, uh, if you have consider me impressed um but yeah i will try and do another one in about three months time and we shall see if uh, things have gone up or if things have gone down i'm quite interested to see how uh, how that goes it's like a little time log of the year so thank you so much for watching and i shall catch you in the next video and in the next update to come so in the meantime keep earning those trophies or go out and touch grass if that is also your thing either way enjoy life and i shall catch you on the next one